All right, now the third and final profile that I'm going to get into uh, pretty pretty deeply, the fourth one I'm, I'm actually going to um, point you to some pieces of information. But the third profile that, I, as I see it, um, is, is going to be those folks that use non-Autodesk 3D CAD, um, folks that haven't had a chance to talk to me yet. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Um, but, you know, in all reality, what we want to be able to do here is, is we still would like to achieve the same results or similar results uh, as we would uh, through the other two examples that you saw. I was able to, to simplify the data, add connection points, orient the model correctly, but it, w what do you have to offer for me if I'm not using Inventor for my primary manufacturing output? And what we can utilize then is the native translators inside of Autodesk Inventor to open up SolidWorks, uh, PTC, CATIA, Granite, uh, and, and, and others natively and push that information, that data through the AC Exchange tool set to do the shrink wrapping, to add the connection points and then uh, associate the BIM objects, bring in the metadata um, and even create shop drawings, some middle drawings uh, uh, within that as well if you needed to from Inventor rather than uh, these native applications and there's certainly a fit for that. Um, so let's see, uh, let's see this process and how, how that works.